On my website, under my Linux class, I've covered how to SSH into your Linux um, computer and get a remote command line prompt or command terminal. Um, but sometimes you want to have a full desktop remote session with a graphical user interface. Now in Windows, we use remote desktop quite a lot for this purpose. There's other proprietary programs as well. But what about in Ubuntu? Well, one of the nice things about Ubuntu 11.10 is that the functionality of, remote, of a remote desktop called uh, VNC is built right into the operating system from the get-go. So all we have to do to get it started is, is we'll go here to our dash home and I'll put in a search for remote and as soon as I type in the word remote you'll see it has remote desktop here and desktop sharing. Let's open up the desktop sharing icon and when we do that we get this window pop-up window and it says allow other users to view your desktop I'll click on it allow other users to control your desktop yes I'm going to uncheck you must confirm each access to this machine and I'll check mark require the user to enter this password so I'll type in a password here let's say let me in all right and and I'll hit close okay so desktop sharing is now activated and let's take a quick peek to see what port that's listening on I'm going to type netstat dash a n and pipe it to more and I'm just curious to see which port VNC is working off of now I can see here that I've got port 80 listening that's a web server right and there's port 5900 okay um, and I think that the VNC is, be, is going to be working off of port 5900 but we'll see in a second so I'll hit Q to quit and then we'll run it after we can connect now if we want to connect to our machine I'm going to type clear we need to know what our IP address is so I'm going to type if config and I'm going to see that my IP address is 192.168.2 dot 106 so this is the address I'm going to connect to alright now to do this we're also going to need a client now I'm going to try to connect to this Ubuntu machine now I'm running right now in a um, virtual box so as you can see this this Ubuntu cl client is actually running in a virtual box and I'm running Windows 7 here on my actual computer so I'm going to put this over to the side and to connect to it I'm going to use VNC standalone client so that I can VNC connect to this machine. Now if you want to download VNC standalone client I'll give you the website for that. Just go to www.realvnc.com and I've got forward slash CGI dash bin forward slash download dot CGI. What you want to look for is not the enterprise edition but VNC um, personal edition viewer for Windows x86 and x64 standalone viewer version 4.6.3 this is the VNC personal edition viewer this is the one you want to download you can download the executable file right here and install the client right to your computer with this right here okay so let's launch it and give it a shot so I'm going to double click on the viewer and I'm gonna put in the IP address that I want to remotely connect to right so if I'm gonna to try to connect to this Linux machine I'm gonna put in 2.106 here 192.168.2.106 and I'll click OK and instantly it's asking me for the password so it looks like we have a connection let me in and I'll click OK and sure enough there it is I've now opened up the remote Ubuntu computer in a um, remote desktop session using VNC and the real VNC client. So that's really helpful. And that was pretty easy. So you can see here, here's my remote session in Windows. And here's the virtual machine, the Ubuntu machine that I've connected to running over here in VirtualBox. So that's pretty easy. 
Now, if you log off of your session here, if you log out of your Ubuntu session, you will not be able to connect with VNC. So you want to stay logged in on Ubuntu if you're planning on remoting into your machine. Um, now that we're connected, let's take a look at that netstack command again to see if um, to see what port we're connected on. So what I'll do is I'll do an up arrow here, and there's my netstat -a -n piped to more, and hit enter. And you can see that we have an established connection on port 5900 established. So this is the local address um, connection on 5900, and then the foreign address, and this is the port number for the computer that's um, that's doing the connecting, right? So from 2.100 is connecting in to 2.106, right? So this is my Ubuntu machine. This is my Windows 7 machine that connected to it, right? And you can see that it's an established connection. So if I was going to attempt to connect to this Ubuntu machine from a different network, from let's say across the internet or across routers, what you would want to do probably is set up port forwarding or open the port 5900 on your firewall router or your Linksys access point firewall router or whatever your network device is at your house you're going to want to open up the port or port forward port 5900 to your Ubuntu machine right and then when somebody connects they'll be able to go through port 5900 and then establish a VNC connection to the remote Ubuntu um, machine.